my clubhouse. Ten minutes whenever you're ready. All right, uh, Brian, I'll, I'll start ahead of uh, all, something that's been on the mind of a lot of uh, the fan base. Uh, what can you tell us about uh, the transaction with Benze? Yeah, um, obviously uh, he was an important player. And let me get this straight. This is not a guy that we wanted to move on. There was a clause in his contract, a buyout that got hit. Um, and and unfortunately for us, it, it reached. They hit the buyout on his contract. Um, if you want good players, sometimes that's that is what is needed to bring them here. So it was out of our hands, um, a major part of our team. Uh, but that was the case, you know. It was a there was an option buyout on the contract, and it was and it was a contractual agreement from the club in Hungary. Um, and I'll, I'll continue to piggyback off of personnel. Um, I see Borelli walking around in a boot today. Uh, what can you tell us about that? Yeah, he's has, he's he's been playing uh, the last few games with a bit of a calf issue. Um, we're waiting on an MRI result on it. Obviously, it's gotten worse, and that's why he wasn't with us uh, in Phoenix. I guess um, I asked Mark this: Is it more frustrating, like you know, going through a 12 match unbeaten and then having eight eight or nine winless? Is that more frustrating than maybe just? You know, not just not having a good season in general, just because you kind of know what this team is capable of, like the level you're able to get to. Yeah, I mean, listen. Uh, to ex explain the question again. So I guess you've obviously you obviously proved 12 games. You know that you're capable of going on a long streak with tons of success. Knowing that that's kind of what you guys are capable of, is th does that make this current stretch a little more frustrating? Yeah, I mean, we, we know the levels that we can get at, right? Um, but now we also know the levels that we can not be at. Uh, so they're real highs and real lows. Um, we need to get a little bit more even keeled. I think if we're, if, if we're healthy and guys are, are fresh, we, we can show what we need to do. Unfortunately, we're going through a lot of adversity right now. Yeah. Like with missing our, our central back uh, on top of it, of, of the individual I just spoke about. So we're going through a, a difficult time. But, yeah, it is frustrating because I've, I've seen the team uh, perform at high levels for a consecutive amount of time, and, and it's, it's tough. Is there a fix that you have – I mean, is, I was leaving to that. Is there a yeah, fix? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, we've, we've looked at uh, – First and foremost, when you're in this situation, now we're leaking up a lot of goals. we got to work defensively and keep it tight. Uh, to be honest, I wasn't on the sideline for, for Phoenix, but I was up top. First 30 minutes of Phoenix, I was pretty pleased of, right? I think in terms of tactically and structurally what we did last week, it was good. Now the goals we let in were, were poor. Um, so we got to just keep working on our defense, get, keep it tight. And that's that's was the nucleus of our team, right? That's the to get back to your question, Colin. That's the most frustrating thing because a few weeks ago we were we were a top defensive team. Now it's the opposite. So that's my biggest frustration. So the fix is you gotta you gotta clean up the back. We gotta be tight defensively, and then we can take it from there. Obviously, what stands out from Saturday, uh, Brian, that everyone's talking about is is just the score five zero. Um, and I know it's not in any team's DNA to 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 kind of think this way, but. Does, does there get to a point like games 3-0 where you're like, you know what, let's just abandon the game plan, let's bring this result to shore and <clears> not, <throat> you know, park the bus, you stand there, you stand there and defend, and, and this this party ends for the opposition? Yeah, no, there's always a point where you got to stop the bleeding, right? And like that's something that I talked about with the staff, you know, we were, we were down 2-0, we let in a very bad goal, the second goal, where we got caught too high, and then, you know, 2-0, I think, I think these guys were trying to, okay, we need, we need to be a bit more aggressive to try to get on the ball or else uh, they'll just keep it in their own half. You know, the 2-0 two, the uh, scoreline changes things a bit. Um, but obviously, if, if we go a bit high, we see our vulnerability a bit. You know, that's fact. I think everyone could see that. And quite frankly, they could have put maybe put a few away. But to answer your question, yeah, if you get to a certain situation, um, yeah, we need, to be, we need to be a bit more mature in closing games out and to come in to focus on the next game in a more positive uh, mindset. As far as obviously with Bente no longer in the fall, do you see yourselves like with a transfer or a loan, you know, something that might? Well, we'll see. I mean, in an ideal world, right, we would replace the players that we, that we move on with. Um, we're in a situation right now where 
we got to see where where we're at in the domestic market. The domestic market, it, it, this is a hard market in, in the middle of August. We can't bring in in a, in a foreign player. It will take too long with the visa process, right? So, and we won't have them in time. We need a, we need a, someone that can impact us quickly. So we're, we're on the lookout. Gotcha. Uh, as far as Indy, um, you know, I don't know if you've watched much film of them, but also there's if you if you have a, some sort of a scouting report, but also obviously for people here, you know, Mark was the was the coach for three years. I mean, just in terms of the, the histories of the of this club, just kind of getting a chance to go against. Them, <coughs> what do you think that's going to be like? Well, I know uh, I know uh, the history of the club, and I know the that the fans probably are are liking Mark probably a lot more than me because uh, the success they had, um, but. Listen, we're going to focus on the next game. I think there should be some some motivation. We're in a situation that this has kind of been deja vu from last season to this season, and we need to look at that. We need to look at, okay, why is this team so streaky right now? This is not a coincidence for this to happen twi twice in uh, two years. So we need to look at that. We need to reevaluate it. My job right now is to reevaluate both for the long term but for the short term against Indy. Um, we're at home. It's a smaller field. That suits us and suits our players better. Um, and we need to put in a better performance that we've shown in the last three, three, four games. So we're back home after a three-game road trip. I mean, just how crucial is that on, on the players and their, and their physical rest ahead of Saturday's contest? No, we need as much rest as possible. That's, that's part of uh, one of the ma major as aspects of why we're, we're in the struggle right now. We, the guys are fatigued. Um, there's a lot of wear and tear in the bodies. We're getting, we're getting injuries. Um, so we need... We need some rest, but we also need to push through it. It's not just us that has these issues, right? There's, there's other teams. Um, but like I said, my job is to get these guys set up, and we need to make plays. You need to make plays in the boxes, and right now we're not making enough of them. Super simple question. I mean, just, just how important is this Saturday? It's important to, to break this streak. I thought we'd break it a lot quicker than this. Um, so it's important to, to come out, grind, be tight defensively, uh, be organized, don't concede too much space, and make plays. Like I said, it's vital. Thank you. Thanks, Brian.